I must remember that the theft didn't start here, with queer bodies. Even my grandfather knew of the way that children were shaped by a foreign hand. When I was 11, my father took me to the Bahri Bridge and said, the British built this. I find gaps in our history everywhere. Areas where the past is missing, where things were never convenient enough to preserve by those with power. My family village sits wrapped in the Nile, in the seat of a dying language and a culture crumbling away. I remember watching the beads slide between fingers, a soft chant of each name of God and each name of prayer. 33, 33, 33, separated by Shahid and bound in oneness. These beads, dried fruit of the desert date, the Lalob paused in their journey, suspended forever in potential. This, it tells me, is a rosary of a dervish footman at the action of Al Gubait Gordon Relief Expedition. 1884 to 1885. We were free then, or rather those of us whose hearts and bodies conformed. But this necklace is not a rosary in its own and not a Mohammedan, and this museum is not the final arbitrator of our history, but a catalogue of statements that don't always find the truth. This necklace has only 78 beads. 21 missing pieces spread through time and a body stitched together wrong, ignored, treated without care. These charms and objects are artifacts of violence even when no blood has been shed. Where do our seeds grow in darkness? Searching for answers in the bowels of the past, I am reminded that they say the future is the only kind of property the masters will bestow. I see these blank spaces, yearning for completion, carved out of a full and swollen history to create crevices in which others have painted in their trees. I want to look back. See threaded through myself a link to those before, something solid in which to sit and rest and contemplate, to learn how the way I am is the way things have always been. Know that when you breathe wrong, they will send you to Coba, to Pentonville, to a doctor's couch or a holy man's lounge. We steal the skin of others to survive silenced without a knife and history pretends to not know our name. There is something tangible missing, something that lies as an ache inside myself, but the Sufi who spins in worship is a rememberer. The Dakhir who places themselves as guardian of what may be lost, who knows al dunya ma daima, is not just a proverb spilt out of the Habobah's mouth, but the singular fact that the world is impermanent. As memories crumble, the Sufi knows the truth, that of Tawheed, we are all one bound in love and blood. And where do our seeds grow in the darkness but in the minds of those who nurture our histories in all their wounded sorrow? I count these lost beads, note the gaps in the broken string. I plant these shadows in the ground germinate the stories folded out of sight generation after generation. I carry their memory across continents, across cultures, and line my writing with their absence. I watch the dervish spin 
and know that only embraced in the fullness of our history do we truly own ourselves. I smell sandalwood and hear whistles and drums. I am a child herded towards the front, the beating hands, the swirl of green fabric and the clanging of beads, not just 99, but thousands. They take my brother, wash him in holy water, say a prayer over his head. They dance to reach God and we dance to reach oblivion, the shadows of a Soho nightclub casting us in darkness as they bake under the Saharan heat. But in that moment, in the spin and flex of muscles, we are all in prayer. Prayers of redemption, prayers of belonging, prayers to find our way home and find our way out through the past. I am an adult split in fractions, told there will never be a wholeness. I am an adult whose existence required colonialism, required the pain of conquest. I am an adult thinking about the boy sent to America to hide his burgeoning queerness, the girl who avoided Chinatown because of the threat of exposure, the bisexual men who passed on the streets of Khartoum as just friends when they held hands, the non-binary person I met who was both fascinated and afraid upon finding out we came from the same place. I carve out history for our survival. For the knowledge that this celebration does not just exist in this current moment, but in lives before us, in the silent worship of the heart. <laughs> 